Are we victims of our heredity? For many, many years, scientists believed that the innate intelligence was your DNA, meaning if you got cancer that runs in your family or diabetes, it's bad luck, it's just a matter of time. You're just gonna be another statistic. I used to have that thinking. There was a gentleman that came on the scene named Dr. Bruce Lipton who wanted to challenge this notion of our genes being our destiny. So what Dr. Bruce Lipton did is he would actually look at cells, as you see on the screen here, remove the DNA nucleus and observe what happened next. The cells went on to live for two months, sometimes even longer, functioning just fine. That goes to show you that your intelligence, your innate intelligence is not your DNA. That is the wrong premise. So he decided, all right, where is the intelligence of the cell? So as you can see, I don't have a pointer here, but every cell has this lipid bilayer around it, the membrane, made up of protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. Those are bad words to your doctor, but that's what your cells are made of. And he said, okay, let's remove the membrane from the cell, which he did, instant death. Right? The membrane is where the intelligence is. It communicates with your DNA. It's the bodyguard of your cells. And it loves healthy fat. It loves protein. It loves doing all the things you're learning this weekend. And this is how it works. And he calls it the membrane because it's the intelligence of your cells. Every membrane has these receptor sites that are communicating this amazing orchestra in your body that are communicating with hormones, with thoughts, nutrients with oxygen and many other things. And when that environmental stimulus binds to the membrane, there's a chemical reaction that reaches the cell nucleus and then a gene becomes expressed. Now, if it's a negative inflammatory environmental stimulus, the gene expressed is an inflammatory gene. But if you're giving your body healthy food, healthy thoughts, building blocks, it's going to be a gene that's expressed that's anti-inflammatory. This is epigenetics. Dr. Bruce Lipton believes that 99% of disease is under our control, meaning less than 1% is strictly genetics. How empowering is that? That's the premise that I want to follow, right? So let's talk about how ketones and keto can support the membrane. Inside of your cells, you have the mitochondria. This is one, so it's called the mitochondrion. You know it probably as the powerhouse of the cells, produces energy, energy factory, does way more than that. But let me ask you this question. And uh, the doctors and the other speakers in here can't answer this question, but which cells in your body have the highest concentration of mitochondria? Who wants to shout out guesses? Ovaries. Ovaries. What else? Skeletal muscle brain. Heart. Okay, those are great answers. So it is the brain. There's regions in the brain that have over 2 million mitochondria in a single cell. But the ovaries are up there as well, Suzanne. Um, the heart, the eyeballs, but here's the, the point. I believe in God, so I'm going to say God, and you could replace that word. But God built this body to thrive. And the cells in your body that have the most mitochondria, which are very important, are the cells that are needed for survival. So if we're taking notes here, I want you to write this down in your notes. The number one priority for the innate intelligence is survival. The number one priority for the human body is survival. So the brain, you need to be able to think, to catch your predator, run away, to critically think. The eyeballs, you need to be able to see your prey. The heart, the ovaries, reproduction, other cells have hundreds of maybe thousands of mitochondria, but the ones that are very important have the most. That's how important the mitochondria are. So the mitochondria is a, takes fuel sources, glucose, fatty acids, amino acids, and it produces energy, which is ATP. Basic understanding, ATP is like the gasoline of your cells. But the mitochondria do much more than that. They're actually a surveillance system that's assessing what's going on in the body. And if there's too much stress, chemical, physical, emotional, it shuts down energy production to preserve life. The mitochondria have its own intelligence and it's estimated by when you're 70 years old, about 70% of your mitochondria is lost. That doesn't have to be the case, that's just for the average people not doing what we're doing, right? So we wanna find ways to support the mitochondria. We're at KetoCon, how does ketones, how do ketones support the mitochondria? Let's talk about that. We think about the two options for fuel. And this is funny because 
I'm, I'm laughing because, where's Natasha, my beautiful fiance Natasha? Before going to bed, I happened to check my YouTube comments for some reason. <laughs> and somebody said, hey, I want to let you know the video that Dr. Lane Norton just made about you, you know, it's just, he's just an angry man and we know your heart, we know you're caring and he's extrapolating like cherry picking your dad. I'm like, he's making another video of me? I don't know if you know who Lane Norton is. So I'm like, I look on his Instagram, I'm like, I don't see anything. And then I look on his YouTube, I'm like, oh, another video. And this is like his six, he goes after people, but look, I got nothing but love for Lane. I, there's no, I don't have the gear switch of hate, so I send love to him. But it was about this, which is what reminded me to share this story about how, you know, ketones are not a super fuel and how we, we need to burn glucose and just be active. And he's a bodybuilder, of course, but 88% of Americans are not doing what Lane is doing. So Lane, if this video gets to you somehow, I love you, man. No hate in my heart for you, dude. So which is gonna get you farther? Of course, the car on the right here, but let's explain that a little bit more. When we think about, when we look at the electron chan transport chain in the human body, a molecule of glucose gets you about 32 to 36 ATP. That's the gasoline of your cell, energy. A molecule of ketones gives you 400% more. Whew. That's why you feel so damn good when you're in ketosis. But why does this happen? Because ketones signal to the mitochondria to make more of themselves. And we've just established how important the mitochondria are. This is called mitogenesis. And that's why you see studies after studies that show ketones are going to protect the mitochondria and extend lifespan. You can take a screenshot of those studies. Um, if you want my slides, by the way, email us, support at ketocamp.com. Alina's gonna get a lot of emails. Support at ketocamp.com and we'll get it to you. So, and then we know that when your cells are burning sugar, it's like having a big fire with one firefighter to keep up with. It's just not gonna keep up with the reactive oxygen species, the free radicals, so that's the problem. And I love this analogy from Dr. Gundry, who said, gives this analogy of mitochondrial uncoupling. So it's like a pressure cooker. When you are using a pressure cooker and there's too much steam, think of that as reactive oxygen species, you have these uh, release valves that get rid of it, rid of the steam. That's kind of what's happening at the cellular level with your mitochondria when ketones are being produced. 